When I started Exposure Ninja back in 2012, there were really only a few email marketing platforms. Now, there are loads. But two that come up consistently in our conversations with clients are MailChimp and Klaviyo. But which is the best one? And is there even a right answer? Well, we're gonna compare these platforms along seven criteria. Ease of use, automation, integrations, reporting and data, segmentation, other features, and of course, price. And by the way, if you don't know what any of those mean or you don't know whether they should be important to you, don't worry, I'm gonna be explaining as we go through. Ah, MailChimp Clavio. Well, straight off the bat, MailChimp has a monkey logo. Now, if you know anything about Exposure Ninja, you'll know that we love cute character logos. So straight away, 10 points for MailChimp. Meanwhile, Clavio just has a flag. Now, I don't have a flag around here, so we're gonna use this courgette. Or, if you're from the United States, zucchini. Don't worry, the rest of the scoring stands up to slightly more scrutiny than that. Okay, let's look at ease of use. We want sending emails to be easy. There's nothing worse than having a piece of software that you dread using because it's too complicated, because then you won't use it and then you won't get the maximum benefit. So which of these platforms is easiest to use? Well, MailChimp is known for its usability and simplicity, and it has a very straightforward interface. We've got a whole bunch of things on the left-hand side here. This is where the menu is, and each of these has sub-menu items. And then we have our main sort of dashboard in the middle. It's really easy to find your way around MailChimp, and all of the features are pretty logically arranged. So if simplicity is your thing, you'll be fine in MailChimp. What about Clavio? Well, Clavio is also incredibly easy to navigate around, and weirdly looks very similar to MailChimp inside your dashboard dashboard area. Now, one thing that you'll notice about Clavio is that because it's designed specifically for e-commerce businesses, most of the functionality is very e-commerce heavy. So when you log into this dashboard, for example, you're getting e-commerce stats right in your face. And that makes it much easier for e-commerce businesses to see broadly how they're performing. But of course, if you're not an e-commerce business, then some of the stuff isn't gonna make sense. What about building emails? Cause you need to be able to build beautiful emails. Well, both of these tools also have incredibly easy to use email builders with plenty of templates that you can just start plugging your content into. MailChimp has a broader range of templates for non-e-commerce businesses cause it's designed for non-e-commerce businesses as well. Whereas obviously Clavio's templates are much more focused on selling and promoting products. Products. I have to say by default, Clavio's templates probably look better, but both of these platforms will help you build good looking emails even if you're not a coder. So who wins? Well, historically, Clavio was much more complex and much more difficult to use. MailChimp was primarily designed for simplicity. While MailChimp has probably got a little bit more complex as it's added more functionality, Clavio has got simpler, so I'm gonna call this a tie. 10 points each. Automation. Every good email marketing campaign uses automation and most of the email marketing platforms out there today have automation features built in. The danger with automation features though is that if they're too complex, people just don't use them. So which of these platforms has better and more usable automation? Well, Clavio has lots of built-in e-commerce automations or flows as it calls them. You can either build your own from scratch or you can use one of their pre-built ones. All of the main e-commerce automations that you would expect to see are here. And even even some that you may not expect to see. But you can also get much more granular, for example, offering domestic customers free shipping in an abandoned cart sequence that you might not want to offer to international customers because the cost of fulfilling that shipping will be so much higher. So there's some pretty advanced stuff in here. And of course, whilst you'll want to edit these flows to make sure that they work for your business, that the emails in them have the right tone of voice and to make sure that they're matching your customer's buying behavior, these are a really good start for an e-commerce business. MailChimp also has automations and inside MailChimp, these are called journeys. And just like Clavio, you can choose some pre-built journeys. But because MailChimp isn't just e-commerce, there is a much more diverse range of journeys that you can choose from. These don't just have to relate to email signups, they can be all sorts of things like integrating Instagram lead ads or promoting live events to people who've signed up through Eventbrite. Now we're gonna talk about some of the integration capabilities in just a minute, but given that Clavio is much more designed for e-commerce, for an e-commerce business, the automations right out of the box are far superior. Whereas MailChimp, because it's not just designed for e-commerce, it has loads of other automations that might be useful to non-e-commerce businesses. So score-wise, I think it's gotta be 10 points each. Clavio is much better for e-com, but MailChimp is much better for everybody else. Integrations. Whatever email marketing platform you use, you want it to integrate with the tools and software that you're already using. That's gonna save you a bunch of time from having to go between bits of software to update things. The good news is that both of these tools have tons of integrations right out of the box. 
I'm not even going to bother reading them out because there are so many. But you can pretty much integrate MailChimp with any website platform that you're using. Uh, even CRMs, design tools, Google Docs. And then for anything that you can't integrate natively, you can link to Zapier, which gives you integration with basically every other tool on the planet. Now, the same is true for Klaviyo, although as we would expect, Klaviyo's integrations are much more e-commerce focused. And because of that, some of Klaviyo's integrations with e-commerce platforms like Magento, Shopify, BigCommerce and WooCommerce tend to be much deeper than you'll get with MailChimp. Now, MailChimp is also kind of keen to explain that it's a CRM platform. Although to be fair, it does call itself a marketing CRM rather than a sales CRM. Because if you're expecting a platform that's going to allow you to track sales opportunities and move them through a pipeline stage, you're going to be disappointed. What MailChimp means by a marketing CRM platform is something where you can see your customers' purchase history and the emails that they open. So to call it a CRM really is a stretch. I order a deduction of 0.25 points for marketing puffery. But MailChimp also has a website builder built in. Yes, you can build your website builder with MailChimp. Plus five points. But honestly, I wouldn't go there. The websites are terrible. Minus five points. <laughs> One word of caution if you're an e-commerce business is that some of MailChimp's journeys by default only work with certain marketing platforms. So if you're on WooCommerce, BigCommerce or Magento, for example, you won't get access to some of these journeys that are designed to work only with Shopify. So both of these platforms have a ton of integrations and you can search on their websites to check that the apps or software that you're using integrate with them. On the whole, MailChimp has more integrations, but Klaviyo has more and better e-commerce integrations. So we're gonna call this a tie, 10 points each. Everyone's favorite topic, analytics. Without analytics, you won't know whether your emails are hot or not. And if you don't know whether they're hot or not, then they're not. So whatever email marketing platform you're choosing, it has to have a banging email analytics. Klaviyo has nailed analytics. You can start off with some overview dashboards, but you can also create custom dashboards to drill into your performance in more detail. If we just have a look at one of the overview dashboards though, you'll see you get all sorts of insight about how your email marketing is performing. And this analytics can be configured to work with any conversion metric you choose. So you can compare the relative performance of campaigns and flows. You can see how much each campaign has contributed and Klaviyo will even judge your performance, good, fair or excellent. It'll show you some of your top performing metrics as well as your worst performing metrics and it'll give you a breakdown on email deliverability. And if you wanna see pretty much anything else in your analytics, you can do that through a custom dashboard. Now, if we were being kind, we'd say that MailChimp's analytics are a little more rudimentary, simpler perhaps, easy to use, and definitely not confusing if you don't like data. We get some general performance data, we get performance by email, and we get some information about how people are moving through our customer journey. There's also some audience data about how many subscribers you've got and how fast your subscriber growth is happening, but, but this is a clear win for Klaviyo. 10 points to the zucchini. Segmentation. Unless you want to annoy and alienate your email subscribers, segmentation is key. Come to think of it, if you did want to annoy and alienate your email subscribers, segmentation would still allow you to do that even more effectively. So segmentation is always key. Now, a quick primer on what segmentation is for those who don't know. Email marketing is built of lists and segments. So a list is like a database of people that have subscribed to your emails. A segment is a dynamic group of people that meet certain criteria. Let's say, for example, that I have a list of people who have bought products on my website, but I might create a separate segment, which is my VIP customers. These are people who have made five purchases from me in the last six months. People will come in and out of that segment as they made their purchases or didn't. I could then send targeted follow-ups to those VIP customers offering them more incentives to continue purchasing. And that's why segmentation is important because it allows you to tailor promotions to people based on their behaviors and where they are at now. Clavio is built for segmentation. It allows you to create segments really easily. It's pretty simple to use and you've got loads of different criteria that you can build your segments with. For example, let's say that I wanted to create a segment with people who have opened an email from me at least once in the last seven days and they lived in the city of Bath. I could create that segment and run a targeted campaign to them saying, hey, we're gonna be in Bath this weekend, come and visit us. Now MailChimp also has segmentation capability, but I've gotta be honest, it's a little bit confusing and some of the wording and phrasing is really unclear. For example, I'm gonna find all of my subscribers who have email engagement that is rarely. 
Really what? I don't understand what this even means. And then we've got this address field here where we have address containing this, but I don't know which address field this references. So whilst there appears to be lots of flexibility in MailChimp segmentation, I think it's much more tricky to get what you want out of this tool. So they both have segmentation, but I'm gonna say Clavio gets 10 points, MailChimp gets five. Other features. All right, both of these platforms have a bunch of other features which are worth mentioning, but don't get their own segment. Both platforms allow A-B testing, one point each. Both platforms have SMS in some of their plans, although MailChimp only offers it in the US. Clavio, however, does offer it in more locations and bakes it in natively to its flows. That makes a big difference in my opinion, so another point to Clavio. MailChimp has built-in AI features. 100 points, we love AI. But don't get it for that, they're not that great. Minus 100 points. MailChimp has 24 seven customer service, depending on which platform you're on. Five points for that. Clavio has 24 seven customer support by email and 24 hour support by live chat on weekdays. Four points. Price difference. All right, now we're on the literal money question. How much do these things cost? If we were to compare plans at 10,000 email subscribers, we'll see both platforms have a free tier. Well, if we were to compare cost at 10,000 subscribers, we'll see that Clavio starts from $175 a month with email only or 190 with SMS as well. And that gets you everything that you're gonna need. MailChimp is a bit cheaper at only $100 a month for their essentials plan, going up to 135 for standard, which gets you a bit more stuff and then their premium plan at $350 a month. Now the essentials plan limits you to only four journey points, which most businesses, if you've got reasonably sophisticated automations are going to exceed. So I'd suggest thinking about at least the standard plan or above. Now, if you've only got a thousand subscribers, you're just getting started. Clavio starts at $45 a month, MailChimp at $26.50 or with more than four points in your journey, $60 a month. So I think pricing is pretty difficult to call. Neither of these platforms wins necessarily because whoever's the better value depends on how many subscribers you've got. But to be totally honest, the value that email marketing can bring and particularly with automations, both of these platforms are a no brainer for the cost. Okay, how do you choose which one's best? You're thinking, Tim, how do I know? Well, let's check the points. Wait, I'm just hearing from the Point Allocation Verification Adjudication Panel. They're very esteemed and mostly conscious. The MailChimp monkey isn't even a real monkey. Shocking if true. Deduct those first 10 points. Really the choice is yours about which platform's best for you. Mm, nah, all right, I'm gonna call it. If you're an e-commerce business, Clavio is a much better platform. It has everything tailored for e-commerce businesses. The functionality right out of the box is fantastic. And with some optimizations and tweaks, this can be a really powerful part of your e-commerce stack. And Clavio's amazing capabilities as an e-commerce automation platform are one of the reasons that we are a Clavio partner. You can click the link below to get a free trial of Clavio. It is amazing. If you're not an e-commerce business, then Clavio doesn't make any sense whatsoever. MailChimp is a pretty good option and has loads of the automation stuff that you would expect. I would also consider if you're not an e-commerce business, checking out some platforms like ActiveCampaign and HubSpot as well. Because if you need, for example, a sales team function, then HubSpot might be a better choice for you. In my opinion, ActiveCampaign has a much prettier and easier to use interface. Hope that helps. And by the way, if you're watching this thinking, wow, there's so much I could do to grow my business using digital marketing. Yes, you're right. The team here at Exposure Ninja could also help you. We have this fantastic fantastic service called the free website and marketing review where we take a look at your website we deconstruct the things that you're doing well the things that you could be improving we then wrap all of this into a delicious 15 minute video which we send to you via email usually within two to three working days it shows you everything that you need to work on and what you need to be prioritizing over the next six to 12 months the service is completely free of charge so to apply for this go to exposureninja.com forward slash review now if you're looking for some seo tool recommendations as well then check out this video where I rank some of the best and worst SEO tools.